Ecco. Prova un momentino, se ti muovo. XYZ. Buono? Allora, se abbiamo le batterie, abbiamo la scossa. Ah, tu lo usi con la destra? Eh sì. Ma questo devi usarlo con la sinistra però, eh? Perché? È perché la destra ti serve per il mouse quando lavori col computer. Allora, sì, vabbè, adesso vabbè, eh, ora, ora sono qui, dai. Spara no. per muoverlo pochissimo. Eh, infatti la sensibilità è anche. Ha detto 1, 2, 3? Hello and welcome back to another Etherix not so low cost production today and I had the possibility to be part of a very interesting project these days and so I thought we could talk a little bit about it. So we are going to talk about, we are zooming in, this interesting six axis joystick that you can see there on the table or well we are not talking about uh, talking about the joystick itself because it's something that you that you can get in every uh, gaming store but about the software behind it so we had some programmers coming up from Rome uh, with this idea to use this stick to fly a multicopter and to uh, control the camera with just one hand by a single pilot and I know this sounds very strange and crazy especially when you are used to your remote control and all that but it's not there to replace your remote control just to make the life easier that's the idea behind this so the stick is uh, connected to an Arduino and this Arduino is connected to the input of um, to the P via PPM to the input of the trainer port of the remote control now for this video you see me up there on the right side I was flying the copter while we had Antonio who is sitting there on the table to, uh, to move the camera to see how the sensibility works and all that and to get a little bit used to it. Uh, in this case we had enabled uh, the 3D gimbal to go in all directions. When you fly it by yourself of course you would put in FPV mode to have just two directions and uh, then you would move the copter about uh, around his own yaw axis. And uh, you see it, it worked very well. We had uh, Jacobo who was running up and down the field all day long for this test. And here we have Antonio who uh, tried with the second FPV system to follow him. And you see uh, that is the first test that we did during this day after the programming and all that. And it worked out very, very well. And after this video, we actually tried to use this stick really to fly the copter and to move the camera, camera and also that worked out. There were still some little changes, uh, changings to do when it comes to the software itself but uh, all in all it was already possible and it was very interesting. Now the application would be mainly that for example you have the box, uh, you have a box, you open it up, you have your FPV set up, you have your remote control, you have the stick, you have a table of course and uh, you have open space where you can fly this. This would make it possible for you to move the copter with one hand and it is working really very very well it's hard to explain that when you can when you cannot see that but it's it's really uh, working very well and then you would have the other hand free for example to start some routines on your copter or um, you know uh, the idea behind this would be even to move to use this later on with a touch screen or something to make it simple for uh, professionals of course but also for beginners to get into is uh, into this so here you see um, we were lucky we had uh, some guys on the motor cross field and so we had some uh, we had Jacobo who could take a break from running up and down the field <laughs> there you see it's possible to make very fast movements very slow movements and uh, as I told very interesting now imagine for example you have your PC connected your uh, notebook you have uh, you tell the copter okay go up to 30 meters start this routine whatever and you just move the camera that uh, would make even the life sometimes much easier of course I personally see it very hard to give the control completely to a system like this but that's why um, the system will not be a standalone system but it will be al always something that has to be connected to to existing uh, remote control of course so I'm very interesting, interested what you think about this idea. Um, I personally was a bit skeptic at the beginning of the day, but then when I saw uh, how it works, 
how nice and smooth it became after some changements in the application and all that I think it has a lot of possibilities and uh, will be very interesting for uh, aerial filming yeah let me know what you think I think I cut off here just have fun to watch the rest of the video and uh, have a nice day bye bye thank you very much